Okay, so uh, this is going to be Cancer, Sun, Moon, and uh, also Rising weekly general tarot reading, uh, February twenty fourth to uh, March, March, March first, twenty twenty, and. Uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a website in which you're going to see on the very front page uh, the uh, full list of my services and as well uh, their pricing and you can make you know, a purchase of your choice. Once that is done, I will contact you in 24 hours with the details how the reading is going to take place. So that being set aside, uh, moving to your uh, reading here, Cancer, the first card, which is the topic of your week, is going to be the King of Cups, followed by the next one here, which is the energies that are feeding and are kind of like uh, supporting the topic. We do have uh, the Queen of Swords, followed by the next one, which represents the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the uh, strength card. Moving the next one, it will be the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week. That is to be the five of swords. Followed afterwards is going to be the, the fifth card into the sprite, which is how people are seeing you, what kind of impression you are leaving into the people around. Uh, that is going to be the lovers. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, we do have the uh, Eight of Swords. So it's a very interesting one. Um, it's uh, pretty much a week where you are to be baffled by a behavior of a, uh, of a particular person that appears into... Uh, into your life or into your environment. Now, under appear, I mean that steps out. It's, it may be someone that you already know. As a matter of fact, I do believe that it is someone that you already know. Uh, that is because we do have these two cards here. Now, the first two cards, energies and the topic. Now, the topic, obviously, it is a, a person that you will, that is going to be the main um, subject of, uh, the, of the week itself. And uh, the energies are pointing that you together had some rather unpleasant experience. You know, it, it could have been like a fight that you do have back in the days. It could be that you have insulted one another or as simple as it can be that you have broke up back in the days, you know, and now this person takes place into your week once again now the queen of swords is the energy it does uh, point to the experience from uh, from the po from poignant events or from poignant enterprises okay so it's something that you are gonna have on the back of your mind if i have ex expressed it that way once that person steps in the first impression that you're going to have is I got to be careful with this one. You know, I kind of like let my guard low back in the days and that did not turn out very well. And uh, for that reason, you can you can kind of expect to be a bit biased of how you know that things may unfold moving forward into the future with this uh, one that is going to step out uh, for you throughout this week. But what is uh, the reason that that person steps out uh, for you throughout the week? Well, the King of Cups, they are people that whenever they kind of expose themselves you know, or kind of like reveal themselves, they either have a proposition to give or they either want to help you with something or wants to help the subject of the reading. In that case, you cancer. Now, the King of Cups, they, these people, they usually have a pretty big, I would say, vast ultimate control over their, their emotions. So it will be very difficult for you to differentiate what kind of feelings uh, and intentions as well that person has towards you. Well, not that hard about the intentions, but the feelings especially, you, you wouldn't be able to tell is this person have a warm feelings or are they, or are they hate you or do they do they love you and etc etc but the thing with the king of cups it is that they do not kind of like um 
allow their actions to be dictated by their emotions because they always make um, a, a well-found balanced decisions, almost like a professional expression or professional manifestation, a professionally made decision. So what is the point of all that, you may say? Well, the energies are pointing that this week it is where you push something through, all right? Something that it's, it's kind of like it's, uh, it's bugging you for a quite long time and this person takes a, a vital role into pushing that thing through so I do believe that more than anything else it's not a, a proposition that comes at your behalf but it is a, a helping hand and the king of cups also states especially in the prime position that there is no need for you to turn it away yeah maybe you had a bad past okay maybe uh, you did not have exactly a spectacular um, experience with this one back in the days but that doesn't mean that the future is not going to hold something good for both of you, right? As a cooperation that we do have here. Now, if it is, however, a proposition, that is to be a proposition who is going to allow you to escape from certain things that you are finding overwhelming. So uh, that leads us to the challenge here, which uh, you have to overcome throughout the week. Now we do have the strength card and strength card speaks all about enthusiasm. All right, that when you see that person stepping out, offering you a, a helping hand or offering you a proposition, you might say, Mah. Oh my God, this one again, all right? I don't want to do, I don't want to have anything to do with this one. So as you can see, your enthusiasm and especially your vision for a great future, not exactly great future, but say productive future, it's not going to be there. And that is the challenging thing that you have to, that you have to overcome that um, I would say to allow yourself to kind of like not be biased about what kind of uh, what, what kind of results you both are going to achieve throughout the week, uh, for a couple of reasons. First reason, past is past. You know you can't fix it. Dwelling into it is only gonna make you uh, lose the future or kind of like um, lose tomorrow. It is what I like to say. And the other thing is that once again, King of Cups, they don't, they, they're not driven by emotions. They probably have forgotten about everything that you had experienced, both of you, back in the days. Any insult or any uh, mental cruelty that you gave to one another, you know, or, or, or a betrayals in these kind of stuff. And they, they just want to make something happen out of their life, out of your life, or maybe out of your cumulative uh, life here. So moving to the next one, which is uh, the um, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. Or, or another thing before I go to the gifts and the blessings. So uh, the strength card, apart from enthusiasm as well, it is kind of like, uh, well, in this case, it's more like a believing into oneself. I, and I will try to give you an example for it. So say... Um, you you don't know or or you know that you want to take it all right to take that helping hand say but you are very concerned what the rest are going to think about okay so they will say well you you kind of promise to yourself never to trust that person ever again and see yourself right now you're trusting them again right so it's kind of like you are to be very concerned what the uh, the negative opinion of those around you is going to be and that will be another obstruction here to take advantage of this helping hand and the strength card points that you have to overcome this this urge to constantly explain yourself or to seek approval if you will um of your future actions because it is something I like to say constantly here is that you don't make something for your own well-being and for your own happiness no one else is going to unfortunately that's the sad truth so moving to the next one um, we do have the five of swords guys that is to be the gifts and the blessings and in this narrative there is only one way how we can look at the five of swords and it is about knowing your limits okay so this week, you are most likely going to exceed your self-imposed limitations. And that is looked here as well into the guidance with the Eight of Swords. But we are going to get there into a minute. So Five of Swords here points that you are to start realizing, you know, how, how big potential you do have. And that you have not unfolded up until now. It is because that potential, it is like a, a purchase, all right? To unfold the potential, it's like purchase you, you can take but also you can give. 
and for one or another reason you didn't want it to part ways with some things that you have to incorporate into the price you know of, of uh, this unfoldment another thing about the five of swords as well it is that you are going to learn where your trust is worth your while also or what kind of things you can entrust to what kind of people you don't have to kind of like a a, a sever friendships or a de de detach from relationships here but you are going to learn you know whom is trustworthy for what and therefore you are to suffuse your social circle with the things that are met exactly for a certain people and you're not going to over trust those people with things that they are not trustworthy for so it's like a uh, a well managing the information that you are giving around and so what pe how people are going to take on you what kind of um, standpoint people are going to see in you and that will be the lovers card and it is the most sound one in this particular uh, narrative here so we do have a uh, they are going to see you as a person who is standing before of a choice okay because the lover's card it was uh, in its original uh, or in its generic version because the card the major arcana six was not always called the lovers i don't know who actually named the card that way uh the original name of the card is the choice so people were going to see you standing under a ch uh, in front of a choice what you want to do taking the helping hand of this person and what you have to do not taking it okay because like I said you probably promised or you made such a point that you are never going to associate yourself with this one okay but now you see that you want to take that helping hand because it's going to help you tremendously and it's there is no right or wrong decision here that's the problem with the lover's card you go for any of these and you have to leave the to live with the consequences of the none the, the one that you have not taken meaning you take the helping hand you're gonna kind of experience the full benefits of, of having someone to help you around but that may kind of like abate the uh, the well-being into your social circle you stick to your social circle then you are, you are going to be uh, happy with the well-being into your social circle, but you're not going to have anybody around to help you with your things, right? So you basically you have to sacrifice one thing over another here with uh, the lover's card, and there is no right or wrong way how you can do it. And the last one, it is the guidance the Tarot is offering, and that touches on the gifts and the blessings. Eight of Swords speaks for self-imposed limits, things that you have forbid to do by yourself not because someone restricted you to do it not because someone told you that it's a bad thing but because you for one or another reason decided that you are not either worthy for it or your ego is is kind of like obstructing you to go by for that uh, thing no different than like i said uh, probably you have promised back in the days that you are never going to associate yourself with this person and now that association this cooperation it is something that is to propel you further into your development either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well now that i think of though um that example comes to my mind that that could be a lawyer right that uh, things with the things with this lawyer didn't turn out very well back in the days okay but now that lawyer has a solution to your case okay and they can really help you with your case but because you had that biased opinion for them you may not be willing to how can i say it to take their advice around anyway so uh that that have been uh your weekly tarot reading cancer for the uh, for february 24th to march 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me all that you have to do is check the description down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website and as soon as you purchase a reading of your choice there i'm going to uh, follow you within 24 hours with an email explaining you depending on the purchase on the service you have purchased how the reading is going to take place that being said hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye